Let's think about the idea of hibernation for our art today. In the colder months of the year, many different kinds of animals hibernate. Animals like bears, mice, hedgehogs, all consume food in the fall and then burrow down for a deep sleep in the winter to conserve their energy because in the winter, the food they need is not around. Bats nestle in caves to keep their body temperatures warm. Amphibians like frogs nestle down in the mud. In books like Over and Under the Snow, artists can show us what this is like. Sometimes we humans even feel like we want to hibernate. There's a Danish word called hig, and it's the feeling of being snug and warm and happy. Sometimes we build our own environments to make ourselves feel like we have everything we need to have light and food in the winter and be close to those people who are most important to us. More animals create burrows to have safe and warm homes. And illustrators love showing us how intricate those burrows might be. Sometimes one animal will dig the burrow and others will take the opportunity to also live inside. There's very extensive, complicated burrows. Some that have escape routes and rooms for storage. We can draw this realistically or we can use our imagination like they did in the animated short Burrow. In this animation, we see the living environment of many different kinds of animals and how they interact and help each other. Artists do this for stories and movies all the time. The word is anthropomorphize, showing an animal like it's a person. We know a rabbit wouldn't have furniture, but it's nice to think about it that way. One artist from Trinidad named Tulst Sebastian creates cozy little homes for animals inside of old ring boxes. It's fun to see how artists like Sol Steinberg create whole underground scenes using intricate line work and even some hidden collage pictures inside. Look closely and you'll see all kinds of things hidden in the underground world that he creates. This is an example of a student inspired by that artist creating an anthill. And you can add as much color and detail as you want for something like this. When I draw a burrow, I create a line at the top of my paper to show above ground and underground. Then with my pencil, I can start to sketch two lines down to create the tunnels. In a burrow, we can see many different rooms. So you can create rooms with an oval or a gentle circle type shape. Next, I might wanna come back with something darker and go over my tunnels and rooms exactly how I want them. You can use a marker or a crayon or just press harder with your pencil once you have everything exactly where you want it. You can erase any parts of the shapes that you don't need anymore. You can relax and take your time and think about how you want to fill in some dirt. Maybe use stipples, little dots, little circles for pebbles. Maybe use other lines to show striations in the dirt and rock. Then let your imagination go. How does your creature live? What does it store? Maybe you want to build your burrow or your den. Maybe you can build one for yourself in your house and take pictures of it. Think about making something unique and being cozy while you create your art this winter.